honestly thought that people suffer the rich till about a few weeks ago or let's say one and a half months ago when I discovered how to make them. So in today's episode, let's make some pickles or a cucumber salad that I'm pretty sure you're going to love. And I'm going to show you how to serve it sometime later. You only need four ingredients and you need your cucumber. You need some sugar, some vinegar and some hot water. And without further ado, let's get started. So as I mentioned, you need some water and we are going to pass that by dissolving our sugar in our water and the amount of solution that you make totally depends with the amount of cucumber that you have. So uh, you just need to know the ratio and the ratio is 1 is to 1 for the hot water and the sugar. And I'm going to add one of it of sugar and one of hot water. Then I'm going to dissolve this. But since my sugar particles are quite big, I'm just going to put it on the fire for about a minute till the sugar dissolves. We are not looking to evaporate the water. We just want to dissolve our sugar. So I'm going to add it on the fire and then I'll be back. So then in the meantime, let's prepare our cucumber and all you need to do is to slice your cucumber into the desired shape and size. So I'm going with a thin circular shape and just because this is a big cucumber, I'm going to use this part of the grater. So if at all you have a grater, you can feel free to use it and it does a very good job. But if at all you do not have it, feel free to use the knife. And within no time, our cucumbers are ready. And also, my sugar has also dissolved. Then we'll go in with our vinegar. And we are going for a tangy but sweet vibe. So we'll need two portions of vinegar. And let me tell you one thing. Even the price of vinegar has gone up. So this is a small bottle. I used to get it for about 40 shillings. But uh, just the other day, I went and the price was up to 50 shillings. I thought I was being cold but I had to confirm in another store. So this is what you have then. At this point, you should taste your solution. Mm, it's nice. Then we'll proceed to store it. And today I'm going to use this jar. But normally, uh, I use this plastic container. And this is Mkebea Yoga Ambai Kona Kipuniko. And this works just as well. But I'm going to use this so that you can see whatever solution we're making. We are going to add in our cucumbers in here. And for this particular recipe, let me promise you one thing. Once you start making it, there's no going back. There's no turning back. So this is what we have. And then we are going to add in our solution in here. And I'm also going to add this in here. Then I'm going to go through the sides to make sure that there is no air hiding. And this is perfect. So, as I mentioned, once you try this particular recipe, trust me, there is no going back. You'll be making this over and over and over again. So, this is what we have and I'm just going to store this in the fridge. And the secret to this recipe is that the longer it stays in your fridge, the better it becomes in terms of flavor. So, I'm going to start consuming this on the fourth day because uh, by then it will already have started the fermentation process and it's going to be legit it is going to slap a good one so you can serve this with anything anything that you prefer may it be cake may it be food may it be a salad you can also have it as it is because there are sometimes they just reach out for this container pick a few and eat them and i'm good and the beauty about it you cannot eat all this in one sitting because of the tanginess and the sweetness you cannot eat too many at once but i promise you that this is going to last me for about two weeks or so ikienda kuisha nongezea more cucumbers you can continue adding in your cucumbers up to six weeks so that's pretty much it and i hope you enjoyed i also hope you're going to try this particular recipe and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you haven't and i'll definitely see you in my next one bye